listens, family. This is your girl, Mambo, Hathor, Ursula, Akhenaten, a.k.a. the Voodoo Diva. And yes, happy May. Happy month of Cousin Cousine. That's why I'm all up in this beautiful denim today. Yes. And we got some things to discuss. Now, y'all already know it's about to get hot up in here. So brace yourselves while we come through with the real. With the real. Okay, with the 101, what's really going on in the streets right now? Okay? Criminal Posse, Criminal Monte, Criminal Vive. Ay, Bobo, Qua, Awo, Awo, Layo. Yes. Because it's serious today, y'all. It's serious today. So, <clears throat> in current news, okay? <laughs> Public service announcements, late breaking. We have a situation here, okay? We gotta talk about some things. So allegedly, okay, um, there was a report recently where um, a young lady by the name of Caitlin Reston uh, from Virginia Beach, okay, age 19, allegedly died, okay, from conjuring Haitian voodoo loa Papa Legba, okay? <clears throat> drops the mic uh <laughs> and to make even matters worse uh the way that the story comes in is that she allegedly belonged to a particular coven she is a part of a coven uh witchy or whatnot and had recently joined some type of a social media group okay where um she just decided you know all of a sudden within this group that she wanted to try out okay voodoo child mm. so that's how that story goes and then to top everything off is what led to her death she died okay in a bathtub in her home they found her dead in her bathtub about two days later from the time that this um quote-unquote uh you know ritual or conjuring was performed <sighs> okay so <laughs> with that said let's get to the real of the matter the hearts of the matter first and foremost you have to understand and i said this before and i'm gonna say it again the attack on Haitian voodoo is real, y'all, okay? The attack on our sacred tradition, our African spirituality is real, all right? Now, you already know most people were already having mixed emotions based on that American Horror Story season, okay, when it had Marie Laveau played by Angela Bass, etc. We've been through this before. So, first off in everything, this story is false. So, I just need you guys to know that this is a lot okay a calculated movement by a group who knows what really happened which we gonna go into okay some occultists okay that really know what happened but are covering this up back to american horror story you already know they gave a terrible depiction of what papa legba looked like that is bound criminal i said this years ago in my video papa legba decoded so please do yourself the favor okay for those that don't know now, to get even deeper into this, <sighs> you don't just conjure up with no Papa Legba, okay, in the first place, okay? This story got BS written all up and through it, okay? Because at the end of the day, like I said before, that was not Papa Legba. So, first of all, the energy or the loa in question even is incorrect. Bon criminel. Let's move on. Now, <clears throat> First and foremost, I need y'all to know, okay, I would have did this video earlier because I seen it just, they've been going off, you know, IG, Facebook is just in a whole frenzy over this. <laughs> but I had to get down to the get down, okay? Bound Criminal is a personal worker of mine because I deal with the right and the left hand and also is a patron at Kaipi for Voodoo Temple. Okay, so when I seen that, I said, hmm, if anything with the death has been done through wrongdoing, criminal acts, something done unjustly, something that is a mystery, okay, that needs clarification, Bon Criminel is going to be the one to give it to you, okay? With Bon Criminel, I done beat cases, got people out of doing bids for 10 years, people that were supposed to do 20, up to life, and all kinds of things. So I'm very well aware and can speak on Bon Criminel. 
Now, with that said, <clears throat> okay, this was a plot and a story to be covered up from what really happened. Are you guys ready? Drum roll. Let me shake a little bit because it's about to get real when y'all hear and understand <laughs> what's really going on. Y'all, this woman, this young lady, okay, was murdered. Okay, I got the confirmation. Met Kafu allowed for Bon Criminel to come on in, and I got to have my sit down with Bon Criminel to understand what went down. It was so deep, he had me see it so clearly and so vividly. I asked questions, there were all kinds of things, and he even confirmed to me that she had, uh -uh, excuse me, <clears throat> the person had <laughs> a blue top on, okay? Something that was looking very royal bluish within who actually murdered this young lady, all right? So I need you guys to know that. Now, as we move forward, we need to remember, Voodoo is always under constant attack, okay? Voodoo is always being constantly attacked. And again, Voodoo, because of TV, because of the hype, okay? People get all twisted within their heads about what this truly is, all right? Now, I want you to know we got to take a look at the murder. Let's go a little deeper. Her name is Caitlin, all right? Now, K, cat, cat, okay? Cat is cat in Creole, all right? Which basically means that that is a crossroads. Crossroads is the number four, cat, kafu, okay? It's how it's said in the Creole language. Now, let's take a look at her last name, y'all. If they ain't trying to be funny, I don't know who is. Restin. Cat, cat, in, at the crossroads, restin. R-E-S-T-I-N. Resting? Restin? She restin? Now, the report came out April 19th, and she died at age 19. What is the numerology behind 19? 19, 1 plus 9 is 10, which basically equals 1, but 10, as we know, or 1 is starting back over. You're going back over to start the cycle over again. Recycling energy was used for someone else's plot or someone else's occultic ritual to be performed on this young lady. Okay? So I just need y'all to know this right here ain't simple. Okay? This right here ain't simple at all. At all. What they doing right now. Okay? Like, they really, really tried it. They really did try it. Like... Yeah, they tried it. Now, from the fabrication of this story, we need to understand a couple of things, okay? This story does help to make us reflect on a couple of things that we need to come to grips with and be reminded of at this time in such of <clears throat> false media. Now, if and when a person is called into voodoo, whether you're black, white, purple, or blue, if you're called, you're called, okay? You must, and I say this, too many times to count seek proper guidance duh what do you think this is it has to be from a mambo or an ugin or even in boko when it comes to even cer certain darker side magic okay of someone in the practice to consult with before you think you're about to do anything haitian voodoo voodoo period is not hoodoo that is two different territories there are rules and regulations that you can't mess with it, it, it don't work that way it, 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 it no no now, I see a lot of people, my brother, sister, just, you know, circulations on the net. Like, yeah, that's what she get for messing with our stuff. And our bloodline, and you're not from the heritage. You're not from the this and the that. Well, I understand. But the, the truth of the matter is, if it was a black person, white person, purple person, blue person, uh, Asian person, it don't matter. If you didn't get proper guidance or something and you was doing something without knowing what the <clears throat> you were doing, then guess what? Without proper etiquette to this, you would have got messed up regardless. So it really doesn't matter because we can't stop anyone from doing or practicing whatever they would want. And again, everybody has a personal journey as to what might interest them or call them over to a specific function. Now, I know with Haitian voodoo, I can't talk about nothing else. I know you have to be really called, okay? You don't just wake up and say, oh, yeah. Again, Hollywood sells those dreams of these little voodoo dolls and the, you know, little stuff that's been sold a lot via <clears throat> Americanizing voodoo in these little shops and stuff. But honestly, there is so much more to it, okay? As I've discussed many times before. So we just need to really understand that for the record, okay? Everything must be done. We have to think with our higher minds, not the mind 
that will keep us in any bounds of ignorance okay this was a situation that really could if within the fabrication once again of this alleged story could have happened to anyone if that was the case in a sense as to far as not properly uh, being guided to do something okay and just thinking you could do it on your own and not suffer repercussions of course so there's that this is not about a black or white thing this is about a smart versus being ignorant you know in the case in point let's just say this story was you know what they're trying to sell us you have to look at it from that standpoint okay because don't forget a lot of white people caucasian people okay have lineage of those ancestors that actually was side by side with ours banging on the oppressor okay i mean i go back to of course the most prestigious that i could think of okay with the haitian revolution where you had many that were italian the ones the french that couple french that turned their backs spaniards okay polish okay that helped to fight that helped to fight that had the guns pointed at the oppressors because they saw that this was an inhumane act so what i'm saying is, is that really we have to remember those things as well it's not all about just trying to bang and say because this person is this and uh -uh, we higher thinking and thought than that okay we're more mature this is elite things we talk about so with that says with that uh with that said <laughs> okay um i need to get into who Papa Legba? Although I know this is about Bon Camino, but very quickly I need this to be said. Ishu is not Papa Legba. There is a way in a vibration of how Ishu is served that is completely different than a Papa Legba, Ati Bon Legba here in, uh, in the Americas, okay? In IET, in America, if you will. So we need to have that straight. Ilegwa is not Papa Legba because Ilegwa is served differently, okay? You have many where they're served with phalluses and they're served with a lot of representation of the phallus. There's not really keys involved. There's a lot more coconut and calorie shells and different things. And again, that's respected from the traditional Tradition it comes from but I'm letting you guys know that Papa Legba as it per pertains to America has a different way as it pertains to Aisien voodoo it's differently you know in servicing and how it's dealt with okay but at one thing we do know there's always going to be a gatekeeper energy and what they tried to do here was to demonize the gatekeeper check it they know many people are leaving the church our people are leaving this bs broke down mentality of the church and that is a problem for them so at any chance that they get they have to come in and demonize the gatekeeper if you now are afraid of the very energy that you must start to deal with when chosen or called upon okay to start the tradition or you know your journey what are you going to do you're going to run away from it duh you gonna run away from it you're going to run away from it and they want you in a state of fear so you already know what serve uh what purpose in a sense that this was serving you know what i mean like don't get twisted don't get it twisted that's why i also say too you don't serve papa legba with skulls skulls are for the baron for the gay day criminal skulls are the gay day the baron the afterlife the death papa legba is an intermediary between the two so he's neither here or there if you will okay he in that middle space doing what he needs to do to let passage okay be opened so again that falls back to again proper guidance and knowing knowing to know to know all right of course they would always want to demonize it but let me get back into Bon Criminel. Bon Criminel, as talked about in the video for him is a retributive energy an executioner he stands alone first of all they even went deeper and tried to say something about Bon Samedi. Bon Samedi always has his woman Mama Brigitte next to him period they roll together Baron Criminel rolls alone. He's solo type of dude. You feel me? Because that's straight up pits of hell opening up on your ass. So there's such a difference, okay? Within even that, that was incorrect. Somebody tried to say, oh, no, she didn't conjure Papa like, but she conjured Baron Samedi. What? No. Baron Samedi. No, neither. Nay. <laughs> so I just need y'all to know this is the real because at the end of the day, Metcalfo has to be the one to give clearance for him to come in. So you can't believe this hype? What? You couldn't even try to get with that energy on your best day. If you're not properly trained, and I'm talking about really know what you're doing, you definitely can hurt yourself. That's why, I mean, I gave light on Bon Criminal, but I'm not running telling people, oh, yeah, go do this, do that all day, long night with no Bon Criminal. Okay? Unless that's an energy in your court on the real. But when that rarely does come in or happen. 
But yeah, we got to we got to be real with this. I really do hope that a full investigation is conducted on the murdering of this uh, young lady, uh, Caitlin Reston, and that truly that there'll be a piece to that and the person be caught and brought to justice. I also want to say that my condolences do go out to the family because nothing is happy when it comes to death, especially if it's mysterious and there's not real closure, okay? But please, one thing y'all not going to do, I see them over there doing a little go for me in the whole night. That's cool. However, what you not going to do is continue with this madness and blame my Papa Legba and even Bon Camino, which had nothing to do with, you know, case support. No, not even. You got to go after the people that truly came within this, did an occultic function and practice, okay, ritualistic purposes for their own gain, a profitable gain of whatever they were doing, whatever the setup was, okay, that 19 number, that recycling energy, and try to have that person brought to justice, okay? Because it's not simple. She didn't just wind up in that bathtub. And if anybody knows anything about ritualistic occultists, one of their favorite ways to kill is in the bathtub. It's a function with the water energy. And as you came from a womb filled with water, you go back into that other realm via the water. Okay, so don't get it twisted. That was perfectly planned functions okay from some dang on satanists from some damn wicked people who wanted to just use the audacity that they thought they could use the name of the loa the name in icy and voodoo like don't play yourself that's what you're not gonna do because see now bomb criminal is on the case so <clears throat> we'll see how that goes anywho voodoo once again as i said and i will say it again is for the elite okay this is a powerful tradition this is a very strong tradition okay on the wi-fi here over here in the americas all right and it's not something to be toyed with at the pleasure and expense of false stories and false social media fabrications so we just had to get that straight family for those that definitely need the deeper understanding as this can be something that could get tricky of course like anything a spiritual journey is never easy and it's always required with the good source and reassurance of good mentorship okay of guidance of feeling comfortable during your journey to be able to open and explore into your path but please do not let this deter you from your path of the foolishness that was brought upon by this false report and these false accusations okay we already know papa is the gate opener i t bon leg by is good old papa beard cane hat keys dogs around them okay nice straw hat chilling okay and then sometimes can even go in his younger form but that younger form still will never have this demonic kind of zombie-ish look that's all bound criminal right there okay in the flesh so again, that wrongful picture still now goes and surfaces. Get it right, okay? I will definitely have those other links to those videos. So those who don't know no better, you gonna learn today. So please put some respect on my Papa Legba. Put some real respect on, on, on my bound criminal. And stop playing with Haitian voodoo in your mouth when you don't know what you're talking. Okay, when you don't know. Because that's how people get hurt in the long run. You think spirit ain't watching? You think they don't see this foolishness? Thank goodness somebody was able to come in and get the damn real. Now I need y'all to share, to like this video, help me get this word out because that was just insane. It don't make no dang old sense. And for those that need one-on-one -on -one mentoring, you know where to find me, okay? I'll have the links in the description box on how to contact me for all your spiritual needs and services. Okay, consultations, readings, classes, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, and the whole bang. All right, this is for the elite, and it has to be treated as such. So I send you all peace and love and fruition as we celebrate Haitian Heritage Month, okay? And also the month that is about harvest and setting up your plans to come into great, bountiful harvest with the spirit and courage and energy of Kuzenzaka Kuzin, okay? Which are our farmers, our agriculturists, all that beautiful energy, planting, soil, earth, seeds to grow and that's what i hope we all can do together on this journey grow evolution grow step out of the ignorance and come into the light with this 
path with our sacred tradition. Okay? So peace and love, y'all. You already know what it is. Until the next time. Aibobos! <laughs>